Hi again. Uh, this is a tutorial for uh, ALS version 3. Uh, a lot of people want to use this since it's fully replicated. Uh, I'm going to show it to you. It's gonna, we'll try to beat the time. Let's go for 10 15 minutes. Let's dive in. So, uh, same as we did last time on uh, V4. Uh, just this one, there is no collusion settings. We just have to do the input. So, let's open up. Uh, ALS version 3 and we just have to put the action map in and the axis go to settings input jump action excuse me and crouching change this to Alt, left, and then sprint, just to run, and then uh, aim action. For the aim action, I'm going to make a new one. Uh, we'll keep the aim, we're going to use the same one, just for now. It's uh, right mouse. What else we need to copy for this tutorial? You guys could do this later. You could add the first person camera switch uh, in Ragdoll if you want it. Just gonna use the, the axis now. Move forward, move right. Right, left. This is is negative one and turn is one. I have to change this to turn look left, look right. Right turn right. Don't need it. Save. Now that we have settings same as ELS we can migrate great okay content select folder don't worry about this it's still gonna work uh, let's close this now now go to first person blueprint character base character and we're going to do the same for the on mesh. It's fast this way. Material. M. Transparent. And change the blend mode. And opacity to zero. Apply. Save. base character after under mesh and apply the transparent go to uh, our character mesh and type in C and check this compile let's do the same for the weapon weapon folder and look for base weapon Go to FBP. We're gonna hide the mesh for the first arm, first person arms. Keep this and check this. Or TPP and check this. Now go to the nozzle flash, and we want it to fire from the TPP. Compile. Now go to base character, class settings, and we want our ALS character, I forgot what it's called. I believe it's the mannequin character, as you can see, Advanced Locomotion 3 Blueprint. Yeah, so it's this one. 
boom so it inherits everything um, let's close this windows okay so you can see we have our sprint arm and camera for third person and camera for first we just need to replace this and then we'll delete them so go right click find references double click here and just replace this drag the new one on top of it and it should replace it we're gonna do same for camera find references and there is like five or four drag next drag almost there and last one compile now we can delete this with no issues and compile all right so now last step is to set the default values from uh, ALS go to self and scroll down do the same here uh, you could change these values to your to your likes but uh, for now it's working for me Mesh. okay so here we need to call the ALS mesh and here I believe it's called and it's the manic one right here there you go and here it's good that's good uh, for the first person camera go up change rotation that's good and for the character movement, we'll do the same. Are we still within 10 minutes? I hope so. That's good. Compile. And finally, go to Event Graph. We're not going to forget this this time. Right click, parent, go connect this node, do the same here. Right click, parent. Voila! Uh, finally, we're going to attach, uh, we're going to make a socket for the weapon. And skeleton, go right hand in add socket we're gonna call it weapon grip copy it go to base character equip weapon and go where it says mesh paste our new socket or you could use the same one just make sure you have it on the skeleton Compile. Et voila. ALS. Done. So I'm going to just do, uh, I'll finish this part right here. Next part is to do uh, the animation for rifle. But I just want to show you that it's everything is working with no issues all we have to do is add our animations and we'll be done thank you for watching and stay tuned for part two